today, Lord. Yes. Oh, your word is life. And God, we need you in this time, in this hour, in this season, oh God. So Father, hide me behind the cross because I am nothing, God. Yes. Nothing without you, Jesus. Yes. Oh God, we worship you today, God. We praise you today, dear Jesus. Jesus. We lift you up, God. We magnify the sovereign name of the Lord Jesus Christ today, God. Father, I pray for every person in this place right now, God. Father, whatever their issue, whatever their concern, whatever their problem, whatever it is that they're burning in today, Lord, in your presence, there is fullness of joy. Hallelujah. In your presence, everything is made perfect. And so, Lord, we pray God pray that your anointing would fall like rain in this yeah, place, Lord. Lord. Setting up every atmosphere, my God. Yeah. Melting away every problem. Melting away every concern. Melting away every fear. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus, God, we give you praise, honor, glory, dominion, and power. And we ask we have divine honor, dominion, and power in this place right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. And Father, don't let us leave the way we came. Lord, Father. Father, we thank you for it in advance for the victory. And it's in the matchless name of Jesus the Christ, the soon coming King, we give you praise. Hallelujah! 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 talking about the Lord. Now, did anybody bring their Bible with them? Did you bring your sword with you? Amen. All right. So if you didn't bring your sword, we'll read from the text. You know, I talked with, well, I, I, the, your pastor let me know about the, uh, this conference, I mean, the, the, the sisterhood meeting today, Blossom, and on the advertisement for it, she said, uh, the, today is the first day of fall, and that it is also a time where the spirit of depression raises its ugly head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, God, well, you say, she said, a spirit of depression. So then my mind immediately went to, well, who in the word of God can the people relate to mm -hmm. that has experienced some depression? Yes. Yes. Well, you may look and you may say, wait a minute. Nobody in the Word of God has experienced any depression. Come on, Come on, but we got some convicts, yeah. we got some murderers, yeah. we, we got what killers of Christians, yeah. we got we got all kinds of we got a whole plethora of kind of people mm -hmm. in the Come scripture. So most certainly we have somebody that has experienced depression. Yes. Amen. So we'll go to the book of First Kings. If you have your Bible with you, praise God. If you do not, I will read the text. Because I'm one of those type of people that want to give you the word, and then I want to give you clarity. I'm building a foundation here because you need a blueprint. All right. Come on, man. The Bible says, write the vision. Yeah. Yeah. Make it plain. Come on. Yeah. So if I give it to you with your blueprints, then when you get in your situation and you feel like you're ready to fall to pieces, yeah. you remember how to get back into his presence. Because that's where the peace is. Oh, yes. That's where the rest is. Yes. Everything is in order in his presence. Amen. Yes. Amen. First Kings chapter 19. I know you probably say, this is a women's thing. Well, how are we using a man? I'm going to use him as the blueprint. All right. Amen. God knows. God knows. Now, in the title of the message, I put, do not fall into his uh, pieces, fall into his presence. Yes. The solitude of Sinai. And I'm going to make sense. It's going, it's going to make sense here in a few, few seconds. Uh, 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 1 says, Ahab told Jezebel mm -hmm. all that Elijah had done and how he had slain all the prophets of Baal with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah saying, So let the gods do to me. Mm -hmm. And more also, if I not make your life as the life of one of them by this time tomorrow. Come on. Now wait a minute. Mm -hmm. She done bust up in the camp. Come on. And said, I'm gonna make your life. Come on, man. What you did? Well, now wait a minute. 
that you said, wait a minute, well, now what happened? Yeah. What happened? Elijah was the prophet of Mount Carmel. Mm. He was the one to call down fire. Yeah. And the fire burnt up all the water and burnt up things. It shouldn't even be able to be burnt up yeah. when you know that you can't set a fire to a log when water's on. Mm. That's right. But God came and burnt it all up. Yeah. To show the people that he was the true and living God. Amen? Yeah. So this is that prophet. The one who just did all these great things. The one who told Ahab it's going to rain and it hadn't rained in many years. These are those wonders and signs that he just performed. Yeah. I mean just. Yeah. You ever notice how something good is going in your life? Uh -huh. And you be like, I just got the job. Yeah. Uh -huh. I just got the house. Or uh -huh. I just got some money. Or I just got in the school, or whatever it is that you believe in God for, and it is so mad. Oh, oh, man. Man. Oh, man. You're like, wow! I just... Come on. But right then, the enemy came in like a flood and said, I'm still here. Come on, come on. And so the, so the title said, don't fall to pieces. Yeah. Fall into his presence. I'm going somewhere else. Let's go, let's go back to the scripture. So Jezebel came. Come on. And busted up in the camp talking crazy. <laughs> so Elijah, this man of God, that yeah. did all these wonderful works for God, forgot about all that. Oh. And had the nerve to get depressed. Mm. You say, what? Mm. The man of God, all I heard about, everything he did, he had time to be depressed? Mm. Mm. No one is exempt. No one is exempt. So it says here that then he was afraid. He arose and went for his life. Some translations say he ran for his life and came to Bashir. Bashir is a place where the covenant took place between Abraham and Abimelech. Uh, it's also the seventh city of Judah. And then, so let, let's get it, don't get it twisted. Jezebel was talking a lot of stuff, but she went here and roll up on me. Like, Come on. Come on, tell the story. Because he was God's man. Yeah. But he had lost sight of that. Mm. And when you feel like you're going to fall to pieces, Come on. you lose sight of That's right. who you are. That's and true. I mean, you're mighty women of God. Yeah. Uh, the mighty women of God, would you raise your hand? Come on now. Come on now. Okay, amen. I'm going to make sure I was in the house. You got the spirit of the living God on the inside of you, right? You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You can access the power of God yeah. at will. But when it seems like you've been threatened, yeah. like Jezebel showed up. Come on. Well, let me just take it home for you when you got the letter in the mail. You got the email. Come on. You got the phone call. Well. Something came in and you're going, oh, man. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but God. Yeah. That's not the time to fall to pieces. Yeah. That's the time to fall into his presence. Yes. And so then you say, well, what do I do? How do I come out of it? We're on my way somewhere. Mm -hmm. We're on my way somewhere. Now, Elijah went from Brashir, and then he ended up under a juniper tree. Yeah. They gave him a false sense of protection. He even fell asleep there. Mm -hmm. When he get depressed, you don't want to do nothing. Yeah, right. come on. You want to laugh. Yeah, right. that's the truth. You just want to eat. Yeah, yeah. come you on. You might want to go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to get involved in life. That's right. You just, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like church Sunday come up Sunday. You just like, hey man, I'm gonna be at bed. So I come on now. Come on now. I'm not coming to church. I got news for you today. Come on. Don't run from God. Yes. Run to God. Yes. Don't run from him. When I didn't feel that I was on my way to church one one Sunday, and I was like, I don't feel good. I'm gonna stay home. The Bible says, if there are any sick among you, mm. bring them to the elders of the church. Yes. Well, if you at Bedside Baptist, ain't nobody there. Come on now. But the TV. Yeah. Amen. The TV can't help you. Yeah. Now, you might, you might be somebody preaching, hallelujah, because there is a lot of media or whatever. You can lay your hands on the TV like some of them say. But sometimes. God got to see that you done sacrificed. Come on now. That you're willing to press your way out the front door. Yeah. You're willing to get in the car. That's the sacrifice right there. I'm getting out of the house. I'm getting out of the bed, out of the house, out in the car, on my way. I'm on the bus. Yeah. I call the church. I need a 
a ride. Sister, so and so, you got a car, you ain't got nobody in your car. Can you come back and put Come on now. Yeah. Come on, get your sister up. Yeah, yeah. Sisters, we gotta get it together. Come on now. Yeah. Sometimes we got issues with each other where we like, you know, she got that car, you know, she got come pick us up. Well, open your mouth and we complain. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. The 
Ten Commandments. So he's on his way to me. Let your pieces run you in to the presence of God. Mm. Let them run you from God. Yeah. We decreed that earlier, right? Amen. Because let me tell you something. The Lord said, what is the pieces that you talk about? What are the pieces? Come on. And so I, I define the word pieces. It said a portion, an object of, of material, cutting and tearing and breaking the whole. Mm. You know, when all is going well, you whole. You are whole. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I heard a sister say, I'm a cat woman. Come on. Yeah. But when you fall to pieces. Come on. Now you have allowed the enemy to break you down. Yeah. Mm. I said, okay, God, so, so, so. He said, the pieces are, because depression is the umbrella. Mm. Or the, 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 the tree, the trunk. Yeah. But the branches are isolation and fear and stress and anxiety and worry. Yeah. And if you, if you look at the acronym the Lord showed me, so, <laughs> you ain't into a relationship with God, you, you can. It's like, God, you just grab me up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of your pieces is a saw. Mm. You ever seen a saw? When mm. a lumberjack has yeah. a saw, yeah. trying to saw you in half, mm. trying to break you down. Well, that saw is stress, anxiety, and Come on. Mm. Don't let him saw you in half. Come on. Mm. Don't let him cut you up. Yeah. You're too valuable to the kingdom. Come on. Yeah. Say that. You're valuable. Say that, girl. Hallelujah, you're valuable to God. And, and, and so then I said, okay, God, you said fall. The definition of fall, it means to sink, go down, collapse. Yes. Mm. Don't go down for the count. Mm. Stand up on your feet and fight. Come and if on. you can't fight, then run to the rock. Yeah. The word of God. Don't let your Bible ride around in the back window. No. <laughs> Yeah. That's what I call it. Yeah. 
Because it'd be like the Message Bible, if you ever get on yeah, it is. Right there is BibleGateway.com. Yeah. And it has every translation. Yeah. If you speak Creole, if you speak Haitian, <laughs> yeah, yeah. if you speak uh, Haitian, yeah. whatever it is, it's that. But the Message Bible gets me yeah, yeah, down to it, such a degree that there's no way on earth yeah. you don't know how to say that. Because yeah. it'd be like, look. <laughs> Amen. 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 So, in, uh, so we're moving on. So, so Elijah, he gets to the cleft of the rock in verse nine. In mm -hmm. I mean, verse nine, it says he came to the cave, uh, to the cave, and lodged there. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, and then he said unto him, "Now this is God." He says, "What are you doing here? Mm, come on. What are you doing here? What are you doing here?" And then Elijah, if you read further. <laughs> Elijah, you know, he looked at him himself. He said, I have been very jealous for the Lord. <laughs> and he tried to sound like you little sanctimonious at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was very jealous for you, Lord. <laughs> Not myself, but for you. Yeah, yeah. And he said, uh, uh, the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down my altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword. And I even I I only am left. Only me. And they seek my life only to take it away. Come on. That's what he said. Yeah. That's him feeling sorry for himself. Yeah. He want to justify yeah. his case. Yeah. To the Lord. I got news for you. Sometimes when, when you come to God, um, you don't need to tell him all what's wrong because he already knows. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the Bible says the Father knows what you have need of before you ask of it. Yeah. So he already knows. So instead of coming in with the, with the problem, just say, God, I surrender to what your will is for this situation, you already know, God. I'm just going to thank you in advance yes. because you're going to make a way. Yes. You're going to open a door. You're going to have your way in the situation. So I come to you, the one who can fix it. I come to you, the one that has the answer. Yes. I come to you because you are my source. Yes. My job is not my source. Yes. My check is not my source. Come on, man. And, and, and the prayer line on last night, you know, they were praying about today. And right now, at this time, they're on the prayer line praying for you. Amen. Right now. Amen. Amen. They set aside their time because they wanted to be together and pray for this service on today. And so we had a sister a couple of days ago. No, a week ago. She got on the line and she said, you know, they're going to cut off the unemployment. <laughs> you know, that's all I got. That's my income. And if they cut that off, I don't know what I'm going to do. I said, I said, sister, God bless you. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing the, sharing the request. Mm -hmm. I said, but God. Mm, come on, ma'am. I said, God knows. Yes, yeah. There's even a scripture that says money answereth. Oh, All things. <laughs> so he knows. Uh -huh. If that were the case in the, in the New Testament, when, when, when they had to pay the taxes, Render unto Caesar's what Caesar's. Yeah. He knew that. He, yeah. could, he could have said, well, that's my son who I am well pleased. And you're not going to charge Jesus. Come on. No, he said render. Come on. Render. Mm -hmm. Give it to him. So I said, God knows that you ain't got nothing but your social security. I mean, your, uh, your unemployment. He knows. I said, so then you just need to say thank you, God, because if for nobody else, for me, you won't give an extension. Yes. <laughs> But I am the apple of his eye. Yes. I speak his word back to him. Amen. The Bible says he watches over his, his word to perform his word. That's the and word. And so I'm going to speak it back to him. Amen. Lord, you say it. Yes. Yes. You will supply all oh. my needs yes. according to Your his riches. riches. Yes. Yes. He didn't say nothing about, well, you know, okay, then they said they're going to cut off your little money from it. It's a wrap for you cookie because I'm going to cut off your money from it. That's not the kind of God that we serve. Yes. yes. We serve what God says. Yes. I will supply mm. all of okay. it. Amen. And so the testimony was, we was about to hang up the prayer line. She was about to hang up. She said, hold it. Hold it. I have a testimony. I said, well, hallelujah. Now, we don't, we don't, you know I got to pray in the morning. I mean, we have to be in the service of the Lord. So I might have to leave y'all. Y'all don't 
Continue. They said, all we got to tell you, Pastor Yeti, got to tell, got to tell you to praise for us. Okay, she said, I wanted to tell you that they gave me an extension. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said, hold it. I was getting ready to go to bed, but now I'm a, I got a joke now. <laughs> I said, what? And she said, they, they, they sent the, they sent the letter, and one of them was like, you know, it said you got to reply in seven days, and I got it on the seventh day. Woo! Come on. Come on, Jay. Hey. Hey. I hey. missed you. Yes. Yeah. Oh. I said, well, look, I said, sister, I said, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. I said, everybody just chill out and don't get personal. You yeah. know, I said, what about me? I said, this is her moment. That's come right. Let's go. I said, God did that just for, for you. you. Yeah. Hey. She like, well, I said, mm -mm. just for you. Hey. Come hey. on, ma'am. I receive that death of me. Oh, yes. oh, oh, me. Oh. Receive what God oh, said. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Receive that for me. Yeah. He Cause you said you searched, you sent it. Come on. You did, yeah. you did. He's looking at my this oh. and maybe they saw something. Come on, teach. And I said, but God, but God yeah. teach, knows all things. Yeah. yeah. That's what I said earlier. Oh, He's omnipotent, omnipresent, omnipresent. Yes. He sees all. He knows all. Yes. He's everywhere at the same time. Yes. And yes. my spiritual mother told me, she said, Kenya, God hears. Mm. He hears. Yes. So he heard what they said when they called. Yes. And said, ma'am, you missed the devil. Yes. Mm. Or you didn't pass the test. Mm. One of the sisters called me. She was in a panic. Oh, God, I said, you know, I answered the phone. I said, Hello, and there was no, there was no greeting and nothing. It was just, ah! <laughs> I was like, now I know what my mother's been. I can't understand how you're crying. Yes. I can't understand you're crying. It's yeah. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, mm -hmm. stop crying and tell me what happened. Yeah. And I said, I said okay. I said, okay. She said, I didn't make the deadline. I didn't make the deadline. I said, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Don't fall pieces. God will intervene. Teach. Teach. The Bible. Come on. Okay. The Bible says God did not give me a spirit of fear. Yes. He said, I didn't give it to you. Yeah. So who gave it to you? Mm. Who gave it? He said, I didn't give you a spirit of fear. I guess evidence of appearing real. It looked like everything had fell apart. We prayed. I said, watch God. Teach the word. She called me back at the end of the day to say, I just wanted to let you know that she said she gave me another chance. Teach the word. I said, she gave you another chance? And when she got the other chance, she passed the test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at God. But in reality, it looked like it was a wrap. Yeah. You failed, you blew it. Mm -hmm. Boom. <laughs> I'm going to take. But I said, watch God. Teach. Somebody that's not in your corner, that's not pointing you back to Jesus, you need to stop listening to me. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Anybody that's not giving you a word of encouragement, mm -hmm. stop listening to me. Mm -hmm. It's true. So I wanted to tell you today, mm -hmm. to sum up the purpose of why I believe God used Elijah. Mm -hmm. Elijah kept telling God the problem. If you read that text, I want you to study that text of 1 Kings chapter 19. God never acknowledges Elijah's problem. Mm -hmm. He don't even respond. Mm -hmm. Elijah told him twice. Come on, that's a word. God, did you, did you, did you? And what's the trick is, you know I told you false evidence of period real, right? Yes. Well, period yes. is, and the truth is, Elijah told him that he was the last one and they done did all that. That wasn't even true. Mm. That was a false evidence of period real. Yes. And sometimes when you're ready to fall to pieces, it looks like there's no help in sight. It looks like everything is falling apart. It looks like where is God in this situation? And God said, trust and know. Yes. I see y'all. I know all. I'm everywhere. And I even heard of what went down. Yes. Come on. You just need to learn to have faith in the God. 
know the word until one day I went to church and the book of Acts was gone. <laughs>
then praise God. Thank him for what he is about to do. Worship him for who he is. And then whenever you feel overwhelmed and you say, well, God ain't moved in my life in a while. You might need to take a flashback. Yes. You shouldn't even be here. Come on. Come on now. Were it not for the grace of God. Were it not for God intervening. Lord, remind me not too long ago, or should I say just now? Mm -hmm. I shouldn't even be here. Mm -hmm. Some of us date these men out here that oh, you already know. Mm -hmm. I don't have to tell on nobody. Yes. Holy Spirit. <laughs> you say, Lord, he's a good man. He just needs to. Mm -hmm. But you need a man that's going to lead you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Not nobody. You got to change first. <laughs>
Thank you.